for progress. The city of Plymouth awaits the return of the most famous seafarer of our time. since that other Sir Francis scattered the Spanish Armada has Plymouth known such a celebration. This odyssey of a lone sailor had caught the imagination of the whole world and every route to Plymouth bore the imprint of his epic journey. One of our cameramen flew with Giles Chichester out across the western approaches to get a first glimpse of his father and Gypsy Moth 4. And there he is. Piloting light aircraft gave Sir Francis his first taste of lone voyaging nearly 40 years ago. But he didn't take to the sea until just after the Second World War. Now, at the age of 65, he's completing this almost incredible journey. For the vast gathering on Plymouth Hoe, the vigil of waiting is nearly over. Chichester goes aboard the launch lent to her by Lord Montague of Bewley. She hadn't seen her husband since January when he left Australia on the second half of his gruelling journey. Gypsy Moth and Sir Francis are almost home. He left Plymouth in August last year and after 107 days arrived in Sydney. His return journey, braving the treacherous seas of Cape Horn, has taken 119 days. These are the cold statistics of one of the most courageous human achievements of modern times. would be outstanding for any man. For a man in his middle 60s who qualified for his old age pension during the voyage, it's fantastic. For a man with failing eyesight who conquered lung cancer only seven years ago, it's almost unbelievable. What drives a man to undertake such a challenge? The purpose of it all, says Sir Francis, it intensifies life. It's living life to the full. It's worthwhile because of that. 